Thanks for watching. Here's a selection of some of the big sleeper cabs seen at the Mid American Truck Show. This first one got a lot of attention. This was a Western Star 57X, it's a 2024 model. On the back is the ARI Legacy Sleeper, it's 168 inches. Um, this whole truck's a 322 inch wheelbase, it's got a DD15 Detroit, uh, 505 horsepower and a DT-12 uh, transmission. Uh, some of these sleeper cabs are absolutely spectacular as you can see here. Some of the, the standard features include you know, TV cabinets, uh, shower, uh, you've got uh, a bed dinette, self storage, uh, there's water tanks, there's heaters, there's air conditioning systems. Uh, there's oversized lockers, lots of LED lighting, towel bar, coat hooks, uh, insulated window inserts. There's just a massive amount of interior conversions that go on with these Legacy 2 trucks. Well, this is the Legacy 2 sleeper. Um, ARI have a bunch of models, but you can check out their website to see all the differences they've got. But this is a spectacular home away from home, but of course for a lot of um, teen drivers uh, in particular, this is their main method of living. And um, some of these ones here have even got uh, motorbikes on the back. This was a really cool setup from a, a W900 truck. Um, Landstar Inway on the side. I wasn't sure who owned it, but this is a really cool truck. It wasn't in the truck show in terms of the PKY Beauty competition, but it was parked off to the side. I didn't get to meet the driver, but this is certainly a nice truck. He spent a lot of days shining and polishing this truck out the truck show. Lots of big rides. Uh, check out ARI Legacy Sleepers online. They're out of Indiana. They make some really cool sleepers, as you can see here. This is the ARI booth inside the Mid-America Truck Show in the South Wing. They had six trucks in total, a Volvo, a W900 Kenworth, which we'll have a look at on the inside just now. Uh, it's got a smaller seeper than the Western Star. Um, there's a Freightliner, I think it's a Cascadia, then the Western Star next to it and a couple of trucks down the back. It was really hard to get inside and get good videos of these trucks once the show opened because of the number of people. Um, so I couldn't get to see all of them. Uh, there was just too big of a crowd, understandably. But I did get to get inside this Black Western Star, as you've seen. It's a great display, probably one of the best displays at the Mid-America Truck Show. Here's Todd Jobs' truck. Uh, this is a, a fascinating Peterbilt with suicide doors. If you look closely there, I've got to get um, more information on this next time I see Todd at a truck show. But he wasn't showing his truck, although it's show truck worthy. Here's one of his um, trucks with a big sleeper cab on the back. He was parked off to the side. Always good to see Todd. Great guy, one of the legends of the industry. side of the truck show. Uh, this is a Landstar Inway W900 with a drop deck uh, curtain side of trailer as you can see. It says it's operated by L and S or LS Morgan on the side of the truck. This is a spectacular ARI sleeper setup combo uh, on a long wheelbase truck. Here's the uh, SPD trucks. This is 777. This is a magnificent truck. Uh, working trucks to surprise a lot of people. Both of the SPD trucks at the Mid-America Truck Show are both working trucks in the flatbed sector. Great people, uh, fantastic equipment. These trucks are just amazing for uh, working trucks in the condition they're in. This is the 7 Career Gambler logo uh, truck, as you can see here. A lot of detail. This is such a beautiful truck.
now we're back outside the um, auditorium, the South Wing. This was on the Saturday or the Sunday before the show. The six trucks arrived. I think it was the Sunday. And uh, so this is about four days out from when everybody starts to come into the show. But the six trucks were outside, uh, parked. They'd already been washed and cleaned. But of course, when they go inside, they have to set up the entire display. Here's inside the uh, W900 Kenworth. This is quite a nice uh, interior design. You can see the bed, the dinette there, the lounge, the microwave, the TV, all of that good stuff is there. All the overhead lockers, certainly very comfortable. These are uh, great accommodation for drivers that live in their trucks on the road. Here's the uh, other truck from the SPD fleet. This one's called Easy Money. Again, this is uh, another big ARI sleeper, just a gorgeous truck with a drop deck and a trailer for me. serves me correctly. Um, this is also another big extendable sleeper. Uh, this is the Miss Black Sheep Company. They had another truck in the show with the dragon themed. It was the green Peterbilt, if you recall, parked not too far away from the Grumpy Pete. But this is a beautiful big sleeper cab, uh, rear door, um, and uh, you know pusher axle, heavy haul combo, drop deck trailer. Great people, uh, great display. But this was off to the side in the uh, motorhome parking area side Lock of leader. the truck show. Love that. Uh, DDS equipment. I don't know too much about the make and model of this sleeper or who made it, to be honest. Same with this truck here. I don't know a whole lot about it. We can get to the drivers who are talking about the sleeper design. Uh, but all from great show. Great show. It's really awesome. that awning as well. Wow. Ah, Volvo Freightliner, Peterbilt, Peterbilt, Kenworth. These are beautiful trucks. 
This one looks new. Here's uh, Phyllis and Daniel Snow arriving in the Goose. Uh, this is an amazing combination. I haven't got to see inside it yet, but again, this is a Bennett Motor Company uh, fleet presentation. Um, this is a classic freight line. They're just a beautiful truck, so much detail. It's an award-winning truck, been around for quite a while. It won a bunch of awards last year, uh, but a great presentation, wonderful people, always good to see them. Thank you for watching a Grumpy Pete production. If you like what you see here, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you for watching.